Hi, my name is Nick Deutsch and I'm here in Shanghai with Kishun and Ching Ning and we're going to introduce a new oboe profiler. Kishun, can you tell us, well actually there's a lot of profilers on the market today, can you tell us what's different about yours? Yeah, my profiler, which the different uh, from the other profiler is it can finish the reeds and you can blow on the reeds uh, off of my profile straight away and uh, if you find that it's a little bit steep where well, you not get to the point you like uh, you can put it back and there's lots of uh, um, little components in this pro profiler it will help help you to get to the stage you like so what, what you're saying is that one no longer needs to own a reed making knife yeah, this is quite true. I mean, if you know how to use this profile machine, then really you don't need to have a reed and scrape enough. So you've, you've built in all the adjustable components that one usually does with a reed making knife yeah. onto the machine. I mean, we'll show all these later, but just to mention them briefly, um, you can change the overall thickness here, you yes. can change how much you take from the back, yes. you can actually change the length of the scrape, you can change the length of the tip, um, yep. It's actually quite diverse. It's even um, you can adjust to the different gouge thicknesses that people use. Yes. Um, you can adjust, so it, it is actually very, um, very versatile. Um, like I said, we will check later. Uh, yep. We'll put him on the spot and get him to make a read, and we'll play it um, immediately. Um, I think another very special component of the machine is actually the template. It's a computer design template. Um, can you tell us a bit about that? How you actually came um, to designing a computer design template? Yeah, um, when I own the yeah, I remember the first uh, uh, profile machine template that I have is uh, from Mr. Anthony Camden. So from that moment uh, when I started to scrape reeds uh, with uh, this uh, profile machine, I always uh, wanted to make my own. Because this template, which it's only I find that it's only can help you to scrape a reed, but it doesn't finish reeds. You still have to finish reeds by hand. You, you have to do quite a lot. Then um, the next, uh, I was brave enough and uh, to uh, alterate the template what I have, and I use a very hard steel the knife to, to start to cut this template. So where I want to keep it higher, where I want to cut it lower. So from that moment, uh, I think uh, I very much amazed how much different uh, when you you know to design. It's just like uh, design your own template by scraping a reed from the template. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So um, uh, from I think uh, I started doing this from 15 years ago. That mm -hmm. the reeds from the profiling machine, then I just found that it's so much better. So uh, I found that this other profile machine, their idea of the making the reads is a copy from the best reads you like. Mm -hmm. You know, I found that this is, uh, um, no, from my idea, uh, you, it, it doesn't work out that way. Because uh, the read, if you copy a read from uh, using a template to copy in the read mm -hmm. because the high part and the lower part is uh, very little. It uh, doesn't have much contrast. Okay. So if you made a metal copy the read, right, and then you have to using a, uh, the blades to cut from from that piece of template, then usually it comes out. It's just a piece of a very thin cane. You okay. know, so instead of scraping a reed, you're scraping a template. That's, that, that's yeah. the, the problem. So I have to scrape a template to, to make it, uh, the, you know, once this uh, um, profile machine uh, wheel to copy this, uh, it has to have uh, the high part got to be high, the lower part got to be lower, then you cut the reeds, uh, then you will have... It has uh, to be exaggerated. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 okay. yeah you are right. It yeah. has to be exaggerated. Then, I found that you have to design following your what's the best shape you think can make a best piece of reed. The best form. Yeah, you mean the shape. best yeah. thing. Otherwise, we could get confused about the shape of the, yeah, yeah, of the yeah, cane. Yeah. Okay, the, the, the shape of the scrape. Yeah, the shape of the scrape. Okay. Then it's, uh, 
I don't think it's going to be work out like uh, your best reads uh, can copy make a best template. Yes. Okay. No, I tried that from the beginning. I just thought that it will never be, never working. Okay. So then I, it's kind of teamwork to start to make this template. The template that I, um, that I was quite lucky. My nephew was in computer and he's very good in the computer software. Mm -hmm. So he was the one helped me to design this template. And also, I was comes along quite lucky as well that, that I found a very good engineer. Okay. So the engineer, I tell the engineer what I want to do. The engineer just, just give me ideas and uh, help me to think uh, what is the best. I just tell him oh, how to lengthen in the reeds, how to lengthen the tape, and uh, then I will, he will just, uh, I tell him what I want to do with this machine, and uh, he helped me, he got lots of ideas too. So it sounds like you yeah. did an awful amount of experiment, yes. experimenting, and you've eventually come up with two profilers which, you're, which are on the market at the moment. Yes, um, I designed the two templates. Two templates. Once I named it as a French template. The other one I named it as a German template. Okay. Which is also from my experience of reads making. I found that all the German template, which is quite lots of German oval professional players like uh, that kind of uh, the four. Okay. M later we'll actually we'll put both. Uh, we'll we'll do both and we'll actually show them up so that everyone can see that. Um, I should also mention that I mean. Even though that one is called French and one is called German, yeah. um, I actually use the French one. And, yeah, and yeah, that's I'm, right. I'm playing in Germany, and I believe you're using the French one too. Yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, it's um, not not that we're saying that the French one is any better, but it's just yeah. they're, they're basically just two names to sort of be yeah. different. And if I remember, cor if I understand correctly, you can also make Demore reads on the Oboe profiler. That's so correct. it actually it, it works very well. So um, um, and then there is another one which is for English one. Yeah, the English one got to be on the different machine, and the, the, the templates is uh, separate, it's different the template as well. Yes, okay. Great, so that uh, sort of covers most of the aspects of the machine. We'll, we will show in detail how that's adjusted, and um, more importantly, we'll make some reads and yeah. put it to the test. Yeah. Okay. We've actually forgotten one very important uh, factor to mention, and that's actually the round blade that you've had that you've got yes. there. Can you tell us what the advantage is of the round blade? No, it's very easy to set up this round blades, unlike uh, the other profile machine and uh, the blades is very difficult to set up. This round blades actually the position is uh, um, set and uh, you just rotate the unscrew uh, this blades, then rotate this uh, blades uh, to the different uh, positions. You almost can get a seven or eight or, uh, different positions. To each of the position, you probably can get the 150 to 200 reads made from this one position. So, so if I understand correctly, you use the blade and once it's blunt, you release it, turn a little bit so that you have a new uh, part of the blade. No, yeah, your um, side of the All blade. in all, yeah. there are about eight different parts of the blade you could use. Um, assuming it's 150 to 200 reads, that's between 1,200 to 1,600 yes. reads that one can get on a blade. Yep. And on top of that, the blade's actually quite easy to sharpen. That's correct. So, yeah, that's actually a very positive component <laughs> of the machine, one does have to say. Yep. Um, I think later on, we will actually show everyone how we can sharpen that. Yep. Um, and we will actually show in detail all of the variable adjustments. And I think the easiest way to do that is if one goes onto the website, um, they will be listed there, how to change the read length, how to change the tip, how to make it thicker, and we'll um, try and uh, explain those in much detail. But I suppose what people are most interested to see is actually how the reads are. So let's actually put a few reads on the machine. Sure, yeah. Okay. Okay, Kishwan, I'm going to get you to make a couple more reads um, to make sure that the first ones weren't just a coincidence. And while you're doing that, I'm going to talk to Qingming a bit more. Sure. Um, you've, uh, you own one of these machines. Yes. yes. How long have you had? Uh, I got this machine from last year. Okay. Yes. And what can you tell us about it? Um, you know, before I have I had this machine and uh, Sometimes I always feel, ah, oh, 
I don't have this, and my lips have problem, and uh, I got problem in concert or something. Is sometimes very nervous, you know. But after I have, I, I have this machine, um, I have a lot of time to do a lot of things. For example, because you know this machine, I, I can make the lips well. I can make the lips very very fast. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. And so I have a lot of time to practice, and I have a lot a, a lot of time to do a lot of things. Yeah, different things. Yeah, so it's practical. It takes a lot of time out of remaking which one can invest for, for, for better things. Yes, and uh, when I have this machine, and in fact, I never use my knife, my knife again. Yes. And, uh, I can finish the, the, the food with just with this machine. Yes, yes. Yeah, I have to admit, uh, I mean, I own a machine now, of course, I've been using it for almost a year and a half now. And uh, when I'm away on tour, I, I don't carry a knife mm -hmm. um, with me, which is very practical with today's security measures. Yeah. Um, so it doesn't mean you have to check it into the yeah. suitcase all the time. Um, in fact, I, I find that it's not really necessary to use a knife. Um, one can actually um, only use the machine. And the fact that, I mean, I usually make a read on the machine and just play it a little bit. It usually gets a little bit harder, so I put it on the machine yes, and again. Yes. Um, then I let it sit. And usually if I, if I have a rehearsal, I'll take sort of three or four reads that I put on the machine into the rehearsal, mm -hmm. um, play it in and then put it on the machine again and eventually I find that the reads don't move anymore. Yeah. They become quite stable. I also have to admit that um, if I do play the reads in slower, they last yeah. longer. Yeah. So it's, it's um, but that also has a lot to do with the type of cane one uses, whether one uses um, lighter cane or heavier cane, thickness of the gouge, um, which is also an important point to mention. Um, I believe, Kishun, you've set up the machine to work most ideally with a center side ratio of 15 difference. Yes. Um, so uh, to, 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 to make that sort of easy to understand, if you've got cane gouged at 0.6 of a millimeter um, and the side ratio would be 0.45, so 15 thinner than the, side, uh, than the center. Um, would, works ideal for the machine. Um, I basically, correct me if I'm wrong, I basically find it's also not really advisable to use too hard cane. Um, a hard cane involves gouging very thinly, um, which could actually have problems. I mean, a, as it being a machine, it will only take off a certain amount of cane. If the gouge is too thin, um, there'll be cane left at the back. Um, and so... I mean, I personally use about a 57 or a 58 yeah. um, using using medium hard cane. I, I'm not quite sure if it's similar for you. Yes, yes. And actually, what kind of staples do you use? That's another interesting component. Oh, I use the Lore Gold too. Lore. Okay, so Lore staple, not a DM, a normal Lore staple. Yes, so yes. quite a wide yes. staple, which is also very interesting because um, it shows you that it actually doesn't matter what staple you use with this, with uh, the profile. Um, you, the, the, both the German and the French actually work with a wide and with a narrow staple. I use a clop for uh -huh. D11, mm -hmm. um, made by Actus. It's a copy, a Japanese company who copies them, which is quite a narrow staple. So actually, the, the, the profiler works with both of those. Um, how are you going there, Kishun? Almost yeah. both reads finished? Almost fine. Okay, so there's the proof in the pudding that it, it is actually uh, um, quite fast. <laughs> yes, well, we are grateful too. Fantastic. Fantastic. Okay, thank you.